Should I put pants on now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's getting kind of cold out here. But we got to put my pants on. Wait a sec, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what's really cool? I have two birthdays. The day I was born, and the day I was born again. You see, 11 years ago today, I received a kidney transplant that changed my life. My entire world changed. Me as a person, my career path, this whole fitness thing, and me working in the fitness industry, it would have never happened. I'm very lucky to be alive and to be given a second chance. Every day, I wake up grateful. My donor was a deceased donor, meaning someone had to lose their life so I could have my life back. I was on dialysis for two years. I went through a hell of a lot to try to get on the kidney transplant list. I was 21 years old. I got so sick. I was hospitalized for three weeks. I was in ICU. Doctors, nurses thought I was a goner. I thought I was a goner. They asked me if I had a will. I needed two blood transfusions. It was the darkest times of my life and I got through it because I was surrounded by good people people that cared for me and those people are still with me today so 11 years ago today I received a kidney transplant and everything that's happened since believe me I never saw it coming so happy birthday to myself and to anyone out there watching that has received any organ, not just a kidney, but a heart, lungs, it's, a, it's truly a gift. And you know what I mean, because you've been there. And let me send a big shout out to all the donors as well. You change lives. My donor, I hope, he or she, Whoever this person is, that person's my angel, my greatest hero. And maybe one day I'll get to meet him. So I try to live my, my days every day with purpose, and I try to think, this person who I know nothing about, I don't know if it was a male, female, how old, what they did, who they were, I know nothing. I just know that this person died so that I could have my life back. So today's a special day. It's been raining all day, so I'm gonna get a good workout in at home right now. Let's get to it. Saturday afternoon, we're on Surfside Beach. 
We're not here for pleasure. We're not here to play in the sand or go in the water or get a suntan. We're here to scope, to look around, because we're planning a very important event. Notice I put my hand on my chest. Important event a week from today. And we want to do this event on a beach. That might be a problem. I want one of those water fountains in my backyard. Guys, you won't believe the event that we're planning with just one week to plan. We're trying to make it happen. It's been a long time coming. We're excited, but there's a lot to do. We have just a week to do it, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna get some lunch. There's our destination, Flanagan's. One of my favorite restaurants. I haven't had Flanagan's been too long. It's been way too long. I feel like such a delinquent. I just jaywalked. Jay. Jaywalked. Still strolling the streets of Surfside. Just had lunch at Flanny's. Flanagan's had a chicken teriyaki sandwich. Curly french fries. Honey mustard sauce to dip. Delicious. Haven't had it in a long time. I was gonna show you guys, but you've seen me eat plenty of times on this channel, so why show you that? But we're spending uh, a lot of time down here just to try to figure things out. We're planning an event that's gonna take place a week from today, so not a whole lot of time. And when I share with you guys what it is that we're doing, you're gonna think, wow, a week? But I'll explain. But I wanna keep you guys hanging. My lady just saved me because I almost walked dead straight in front of a pole, like that pole back there. You saved me, honey. Another thing here. And what we're doing right now is uh, we're making like blueprints in the sand of what's going to go where for the big event a week from today. We've been out here most of the day, just looking at the restaurants. What? the city has to offer, checking out the beach, just trying to put it all together. So I'll be on this side, so I'll be standing here, and you'll be standing there. Yeah, it's all coming together. Come down here for pictures, roll in the sand a little bit. Should I put pants on now? Okay, yeah, get kind of cold out here. But we gotta put my pants on. Wait a sec, guys. The idea is to try to capture the sunset. Unfortunately, this beach is on the east coast and the sun sets on the west coast. Well, we will be back at this spot a week from today at the same time. What are we planning? Ha ha ha. When you like to know. Sunday afternoon. Just left the gym. I'm in my wife's little car. No bueno. I don't like this, okay? I like my truck. I miss my truck. I don't like this little car. On my way to go put some air in the tires. Gotta change a dollar. Need quarters. Good day at the gym. I went for a new uh, PR attempt on deadlifts. So we now jump up to, yeah, I hit it. We jump up from 220 pounds to 230 pounds on the deadlifts. And I'll be honest, guys, it felt kind of light. It was my last exercise of my training session today. If I had a little more gas in the tank and maybe chalk on my hands because I was losing some, some grip strength, I believe that I could go a little higher and even knock out 230 pounds. But it's a new PR, so yeah! I told you I was coming for those deadlifts. I told you this already. You already know. So, and, and then on squats... I hit a new PR on Wednesday. Um, we, we went from 200 to 210 pounds, so you know I'm happy there. Didn't go for a PR attempt on squats today, just went for the current PR of 210 pounds and knocked it out, no problem. Felt good there too. So I do see, um, I, I do feel like my, my strength gains are going to continue coming and PRs are gonna get knocked out. And that's what we do, man. That's what we do. So 
feel good. Now I need a post-workout meal and I'm happy because my parents are doing dinner. They are cooking a roast, an English roast. Uh, a lot of you don't know, I, yes, I am British. I was born in the UK. And even though we live in the States now, we still try to keep tradition. So my parents are, are doing a roast, roast chicken, roast potatoes, roast veg, some stuffing. I'm looking forward to it. I need to feed this guy because we want those gains. We want more gains coming. So that's where I am off to now. Just need to put some air in wifey's tires. Let her my truck. I miss my truck. But um, I feel good. Guys, that big event we're planning yesterday, it was a lot of fun. Um, we're doing a lot last minute. I'm not going to keep you guys on the end of the cliff just hanging there. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm even going to vlog the event. So you're going to be very much a part of this. And that's why I love the vlogs. I can be transparent and just, just completely honest with you guys. Show you a day in the life as a personal trainer. What I go through. My, my training sessions with clients. My personal life. My gym life. What my goals are. How I'm hitting my goals. Sometimes I don't hit my goals. And, and I'm showing you all of this. And my family life. And I enjoy it. And, and I'm going to keep the vlogs coming. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel um, I really do appreciate the support uh, I think we're up, we're up to 50 subscribers now so yeah we're still a small baby channel but we're growing uh, most importantly I'm the main reason I put this channel together was to motivate educate and inspire people and show you um, that it can be done because trust me if I can do it if you know my backstory um, anybody can so if there's one thing I've had to remind myself of this week, guys, it's been, we go around one time. Don't play it safe. This event we're planning, last minute, we could have postponed it. We could have done this. We could have done that. We could have, everything could have been different. But that would have been playing it safe. You want to make calculated risks. You don't want to just wing things. You want to be smart about your decisions. But don't always play it safe. We go around one time. I want you guys to live. So, for example... Put more weight on the bar. If you're feeling strong and you, and you believe you can, put more weight on the bar and go for that PR attempt. And it works the same way in other areas of your life, not just in the gym, but go for things. Don't settle and don't always go for the safe option and just play it safe because we go around in this, in this life one time. So make the most of it. And well, that's my two cents, guys. Don't play it safe. Go for it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Whatever you desire, hard work will get you there. Just go for it. And and you'll be successful at whatever it is you're going for. So I'm going to sign out here, guys. You got to put air in the tire and then get that, that post-workout meal in. I can't wait to eat. I'm going to close out here. Guys, give me a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm having a lot of fun with Snapchat, too. My Snapchat's on the screen right now. Yeah, I've gave in, and I'm finally on Snapchat. Uh, as of a few days ago, I, 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 I uh, set up my account. So I'm on Snapchat. I'm having fun with it. So add me on Snapchat. And if you don't have me on Instagram, I've been on there for a while. So check me out there as well. Uh, it's the same name for Instagram and Snapchat. It's on the screen. So add me and I'll be back real soon. I'll be back real soon with another vlog. Guys, Stevens.